As you know, I uh, did have a chance to visit Fort McMurray the other day. Um, it's interesting, given how I've been a supporter of the oil sands for so long, that I have never actually visited. And okay, the big trucks are really neat, I will say. I will make a confession. Um, and I will also add that I find it very interesting that they prefer women. They like women to, big the, to drive the big, the, the heavy haulers because apparently we're better on the equipment. Um, all sorts of really interesting things going on up there. Uh, interesting in terms of improving our environmental record, improving our reclamation. Um, all of those are good things. We know that we need to be even more environmentally sustainable, that's true. But the prosperity that is derived from the oil sands benefits not just Alberta, it benefits the whole country. We know that. Manufacturing jobs in Ontario and Quebec, um, obviously employment in Newfoundland and Labrador, um, but it is true that the prosperity here benefits the whole country. Um, and we'd like to see that in, in improved. We'd like to see greater environmental sustainability, but we also want to see us get access to world markets. That's a critical issue for the oil sands and therefore for the country. We know that with the United States being our only customer, we do suffer a price discount. Um, and with the studies that we're seeing that show that the Americans may become en energy self-sufficient fairly soon, losing our one customer would be even worse. And so we have to be prepared to have access. We need access to world markets. It would be great if we could get access to the West Coast. Um, there's no question Northern Gateway has its challenges. But whether it's additional capacity to Vancouver, whether it's using Prince Rupert instead of Kitimat, I know there are challenges there too. But there are also some really interesting analyses being done in terms of rail and whether there might be some options through, through Alaska. So um, those are all things that need to be looked at. Um, a couple of months ago, I did an op-ed on a national energy infrastructure strategy in which I talked about also the opportunities of west to east pipelines. We know that in New Brunswick, for example, there is significant unemployment, but there is excess refining capacity and a deep water port. The Premier Alward has made it clear that that would be of real interest to them. In Nova Scotia, if we're able to get refining um, oil from Alberta refined in New Brunswick and thus available to other Atlantic Canadians, Nova Scotians would pay less at the pump. That's a good thing. We also know that Quebec would save millions and millions of dollars if they could get uh, oil from uh, Alberta as opposed to importing the oil that they do import now from other, uh, from other countries. So it's a win-win. There's some really interesting opportunities, but fundamentally these are all opportunities that um, capitalized on properly benefit the entire country.